It's a hoverboard, like Back to the Future. Oh no! no. Oh, it's oh Rana! Guys, I want to take a moment to thank the official sponsor of this video, Ibotta. Ibotta is a free cash back app and it works at all your favorite stores, including mine, Trader Joe's. Let me show you how it's done real quick. All you have to do is find a product on the app or scan it at the store to see if it's available. Afterwards, scan your receipts to receive money back. This is where I'll scan my receipt next time I go shopping. Immediately, you'll see how much cash back you have earned. This all can be done in store or from the comfort of your own home, in your living room, on your laptop. This all can be applied to online shopping like Target, Amazon, Sephora, and so much more. It's crazy more people aren't using this app. I'm slowly getting more people like the normies to use Ibotta. Follow the link below in the description to download the app and receive a $20 sign-up bonus. Without any further delay, let's get back to the reaction. Hey everyone! Hey guys! Welcome to the season three, volume three premiere of Ruby. That's right. Yes, Dameron, Serge, Mikey, Runa, Marquetta. Yes, we are out here, ladies and gentlemen, ready for a new In intro here, music. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna fucking jam. Oh yeah! You know right? it's new? Did you cheat? How do you know it's new? Because every season it changes, every volume it changes. I'm the slowest person on the couch. We have some brand new technology here. This is called a mouse. Ooh. What I'm gonna do Boy. is. If, if we happen to miss something, I'll just like rewind it like a, a, a click or two. That's yeah. It. Whoa. Yeah. It's, it's even fucking <laughs> wah. Yeah. It's, it's connected via <laughs> the Bluetooth. Yeah. It's crazy. And Sydney, our editor, don't freak out. We're capturing it so you'll get all the pauses in there. You don't need to resync anything. <gasps> well, well, well. Uh, we'll see about that. <laughs> yeah. I wanted to start this off. I asked the Discord fan if there's anything we need to watch. There's still that like World of Rem Revenant. Revenant. Like background videos we could watch, but mm. they recommended we watch this tribute to Monty Um that oh. came out right before this volume premiered. Right now? Yeah, it's three minutes long. It's not too long. Okay, I thought I saw it. Uh, very Ruby like of them. Very Ruby. Yes. <laughs> Ruby is. Yes. And if you guys don't remember, Monty Um is the creator or was the animator. Right. Leader. Passed away. Right. right. Yes. Yeah. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and watch this. this. I'm slouching like a little angry. Oh, because we got it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Mr. Monty Ohm. Hello, Bertie. I was very excited about the moment my first scene showed up at a convention. No one had any idea what to expect. Got a full house for the movie panel, RTX 24. Damn. Damn. With Red vs. Blue and Rooster Teeth as a company, there's a lot of things we hope to create to make people happy in ways they couldn't, wouldn't expect. That is where it started, by the way. Red vs. Blue. blue. Black and yellow for the baby. No! Oh! <laughs> it's easy to forget to sleep when you're working on something cool. So you yeah. just work as hard as you can. And still, it's, there's never enough time. Red vs. Blue goes way back. you gotta learn to is way back. Back. go. What we end up making is always larger than what we think. He's okay. giving off some strong I surge vibes. <laughs> oh, it's like Samus. Samus? Yeah, and Yuna David from Final Fantasy X. That's awesome. Everyone else, my colleagues, whose mom is that? <laughs> <laughs> She's looking really, really intense. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> mom is I want that stage. Look at this studio, man. The music is, this is nice. Oh. We ended up here for some reason that we don't need to think about. Um, but we tend to be masters of our own fate. The only thing that stops us from doing the really cool things is time. Oh my god, it's so sad. Oh, that's, right? like, that's like the Matrix. Right. right. That was Tifa. Yeah. Where everything is so stupid. If you, if you look at something, Intent to use it, you have to emulate it. Oh man, that's so cool. Do you see the scythe? If I want to make a costume of something, I can also make a character that it's derived from. He's a lot like Tetsuya Nomura. Oh. <laughs> I always think about what's next, so like, I, I'm, I'm super excited 
to finish what we have so that I can just start working on something else. God bless. Damn, me. man. Good for him. Damn. He did what he loved, though. He lived. Yeah. He lived a life that he earned, and that's respectable. For sure. For sure. Through his creative endeavors. It's like this I is so sad. Is, I, so. I know. I was gonna say he's giving up some serious yeah. vibes, and you feel like that was dope. <laughs> like when he's talking about how you have to always, you have to step away from your creations eventually, because like as an, an artist's work, whether you're editor, painter, musician, an artist's work is never done. You, and right. you won't ever appreciate it until you're. You, you yeah, done. and you step away from it, get a, get a chance to enjoy That's it, or you was, move on yeah. to the next thing. Like I can't make more songs. It's like the songs I'm writing are done and out, so I can like mentally just move on to the next thing, one project to another. Yeah, yeah, and you don't appreciate it until you like give it out and give it to people. Once you give it to people, it's no longer yours. It's it, it's there. Now. Correct. Yeah. That, and that's a good way of looking at it too, yeah. because I think that's the accurate way of looking at it. I think too many content creators put something out, like George Lucas, for example, and then go back and say. Well, I want to change it. Yeah. Well, dude, is it yeah. really yours to change anymore? Mm. Like you gave, you gave it to us already. No? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I believe in that mantra. Like, yeah. like, like the moment, like once I'm working on something or whatever, it be the moment you have it, you can hear it. It's no longer mine now. It's 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 whatever you perceive it to be. I want to push it to the ladies, but before, yeah, when he was talking about you never have enough time, like just the double double meaning of that was very. Like whoever put this video together, did a good very job. good. He succinct. mentioned that several times too. Like the, yeah. the time was like throughout the video, the, the theme of time. He doesn't have enough time. Did he know? I, yeah, that's the question, know. right? Is I he know, I think when he was saying that, like he's like saying, like I don't like he's to, so to passionate. Finish, to finish like, the every project, day, he yeah. wishes that there's more hours in the day for him to do more because like to just, just like make it better. Yeah. Like, but it looking at it now, it obviously has the double meaning of yeah. we. Never know when our time's gonna be up, man. So I'm just like so happy, like that everybody else can continue his work and the fans can enjoy it. But like in the end, he says like he can't wait to finish this with his team to do the next day. You know, so to work on the next day. It's just it's really sad. But, but like at least you know we all still enjoy his work. He was, that was just beautiful. And he lives on, man. He lives on through his creations, his work, uh, us giving like a lot of a lot of good energy towards his and stuff. I feel like you know that's that's how you can, you keep good good people around. You know, for sure. It's, yeah. And uh, y'all make sure to support Rooster Teeth, please, and the official release because the following reaction is not a market substitute. You come hang out with us, which is great. Rooster Teeth allows that because they want to see their art and their work go further and go to different places. So like their video, like our video, please. And if you'd yeah. like to jump ahead, consider becoming an official normie and uh, getting early access. And, and this is already uncut. So early access to this and all other series that we watch. So. Mm. Sweet. Thank you, Rooster Teeth, and I'm, thank you to you guys. I'm sorry. Yeah. I, I just, I, yeah. I, hate you <laughs> I wanted to see. That. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they were. I, I thought. I thought Ronald was crying for us. I was like, I was gonna give her a second to gather her emotions. It's hard, man. Yeah, it's very, very relatable in a way. Carrying on the enthusiasm through the rest of the show. Yeah. Oh yeah, man. That's They're on right. volume eight. The the legacy lives on, Monty. Fuck yeah, dude. Thank you, Monty. Fuck yeah, Monty. Let's let's start it. It was so cool to see him dressed like Ozzy Penn. You saw that? Like, I, th I thought maybe that was just something that like he just did on a, like, yeah, on a regular basis. He voiced basis. him. He voiced Oz Penn, right? Yeah, I believe so. No, he voiced Or no, Ren. no, no, with Ren. Ren. Oh, this is Cold Open. Oh, shit. Sorry. The Cold Open is when you have a scene before your credits. Yeah. 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 Let's do it. Look at it. The animation Beautiful. just getting better and better. It's like Samurai Jack. <laughs> mm-hmm. Gotta be Jack. That was very Samurai jack -ish. Gotta be Jack. <laughs> Man, yeah. I'm a samurai jack. Oh. <gasps> Sorry, I had And that's her sigil. On her. Things have been. Yeah. Well, things have been pretty busy. <laughs> oh, Dad's here too. Hey, Dad. 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 H
week. Ah, uh, so this, I think this lends more credence to the theory that her mom is the ninja. Mm. I guess I'll tell me one day, you know how he is. It's funny, the more I get to know him, the more he starts sounding like Uncle Crow. Oh, Sway. Oh, shit, Daddy? Him posing there so awkwardly. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah just it is kind of awkward. Yeah. Character select screen. Look at the shading though on her on the red. Is he even there? It's like light. Look look at all the light effects that we're yeah, getting. Sun, the sun, sun rays. The sun rays. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That that was not in previous seasons. No, th this whole scene was very cinematic. Mm -hmm. Like uh, from the jump when it first appeared. The whole piece. show has me fucked up, man. Let's Pokemon go. Stadium. It looks like Jotaro was there. <laughs> I literally I know, was about to say, I I was about to say that. that. Thank you. He used his. This looks like like the same from My Hero Academia. Yeah. Right? After, uh, yeah. Get him. Oh shit. They're going against the, the groups, right? The groups are battling with each other yeah. right now. Right? Yeah. Uh oh. The gals are back in town. <laughs> Four on four round. Hey, start the round from the beginning. I want to see. Right. Look at that battlefield. Oh. And it's in the sky. Oh. oh, all right. Okay, this owns. This is so cool. It is holding up like how many people? Is this tournament part of the festival? Is the festival finally happening? Yeah, yeah it's it a vital is. festival. It's a Vital. Vital. Vital? Yeah. Vital. Yeah. Vital. 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 Another tournament. Hunter Hunter, my hero. This is a true shonen. Mm. That looks good. Cool. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. Although, they, although they were kind of frozen, look <laughs> But the character design. Look great. <laughs> Budget. <laughs> Time. There's never enough time. Never enough time. Yeah, yeah, sure. Wow, do you guys see that? Yeah. Combo time? Is that a skateboard? skateboard? Holy <laughs> shit. Jet Set Radio Future. It's a hoverboard, like Back to the Future. Oh, no. Nice. Oh, oh runner? Oh, shit. The fuck is skateboard that oh. good, bro? I like her. Damn, son. This this is good. It's gotten good. Whoa. Watching Dragon Ball Z. Mm -hmm. I think both power fighters. Yep. Ooh, man. Hers looks like a whip or a string of some sort that she uses. He uses? I can't tell. She. Ruby. Weiss. No. Oh. You're right. She has that gun. Yep. Okay, he Bolin. reminds me of a. Uh... His name is Bolin. <laughs> no. I guess not. <laughs> Very Chinese. Ah, shit. I'm on board with this guy. Looks like he's about to get his ass kicked, I think. Or not. How? His semblance is what? I can tell you exactly what character he's supposed to be. I'll wait till our after reactions. Hey, Why is he from Mulan? From Mulan. <laughs> What's his name? Let's get down to business. I like this girl. Yeah, that skateboard is dope. So much for hair. Hoverboard, whatever. Oh, oh it's got he underneath it. She actually she just put yeah. stuff on it. That's like multifunctional. Red. She put dust on it? Mm-hmm. I think it's dust at least. It's one of the hot the hot crystals. Mm. And it changed the color to red. I love how they use the environment to their advantage. Woo! Kickflip, 250. Who does that with X Men? The blue guy? Oh, Quicksilver. No. Oh, no. Who? Quicksilver? 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 Oh. No, the blue guy would disappear. Mm. 
Yeah. Night Stalker. Oh, that, oh, no, no, um, Night Crawler. Night Crawler. Reese Clor- What? Reese Oh, no. I'm sorry, Reese. You were cool. This has got an assault rifle. Since the, when are her circles black? Woo! Weren't they white? They were. They, I they thought they used to be white were. too. Uh, oh, some of them are still white. Are. It depends. Whoa! <laughs> Fatality. A fist. It was a fist, yes, right? Yes, that rules. It yeah, it was. It was. Up. Yeah, they grabbed him and then froze and broke off and rolled. See ya. That owns. She gonna break it with a punch. Okay. Chinese. Ooh. I like her. Nice. Outfit. Oh, oh, she's a power fuck fighter, yes. bro. Yes. That was straight like Hungar Kung Fu shit. Uh-huh. What is that? That Taekwondo? Yes. Get it, Yang. Yang. Kung Get Fu. Yang. Kung Fu, at least. Yeah. Yang's my favorite. Close line. Woo! Oh, oh, oh God. God! Yes! KO! Fuck yeah. Yeah, this is like a whole new show. This is very, 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 very it cool. Does. We knew we'd work, it, it'd work up to this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Aww. Nice transition. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> That's that like was me in the morning. Yeah, every morning. <laughs> yep. You guys were so bad in Lucifer. Sorry. Festival. I was wrong. This isn't like a shonen. It's like a shouju with, with girls. <laughs> but it's good. Daddy Shnee. Come on. Papa Shnee. Hey. Emerald, ugh! Oh. Uh, yeah, she dressed like she had electric force. Diamond is her symbol? What's up, man? Just left the stadium after watching your amazing Your Emerald. Fight. You guys are awesome. Yeah, of course. <laughs> she looks like a tack on tie, even though I don't watch it. That's the next round, too. You know, I feel like we never see other teams. Yes. How'd they do in the fight? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. They were probably brutal. Um, hello, who are you? Her eyes change color? Neo. Did her eyes change color? Yeah. Her eyes are two different two, colors. Two different. Oh, okay. No, but they were green. They were, thank you. Gosh, that's okay. so nice of you, but my teammates are all kind of introverted. <laughs> <laughs> you know, new shoes smell delicious. <laughs> Maybe not delicious, just good. I like, I like the way. Leather might be a different story. I like the way gas smells. Gas smells. What about you guys? Well, as the leader of this team, I felt long and hard about this decision. We put it to a vote. Mm. <laughs> Some of us felt like it was unfair. 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 Some Catch some boosts. See you later. <laughs> so how are the new friends? I hate them. These are orders. I just, how can they be so happy all the time? <laughs> we just get what we want. It's the heiress and the bimbo. Mm, all right. At least now heiress and the bimbo. <laughs> she got her bimbo. She yeah. Does she, she dress like Attack on Time stuff? They don't they wear white jeans and stuff? No. I thought it was like khaki looking things. Oh, okay. Like dark khakis. I don't even know. Not really, kind of. Ooh, Naruto would be so we proud of you. We were just talking about ramen. Yeah, we're just yes. talking about it. Oh my god, I'm gonna put my face in it. <laughs> and she could. Hey. It's the same old man. I like that hers is different though. She's a- <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. She need us. What is oh, Dust. He said she needs Dust Company. Isn't that her family's company? Yeah. yeah. They have their own credit cards? Mm-hmm. Fuck. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> Damn! You've been cut off. <laughs> oh. So nobody else has money. Ask Pira. Aw, you don't have to. But she could. Well, I think 
you all earn it after that battle. You mind if we join you? Oh. Uh, Bro. I want it. She just. I'm getting ramen after this, hands down. So yeah. Are you taking me out? <laughs> Y'all want to go get ramen? Fuck it. Are you buying? Yeah. Hey, it's my favorite Pira character. Did. My favorite character. <laughs> <laughs> and you're the most like Pira. Do you know Ren is a person in Chinese? Yeah. Oh, enemy. Dora. That's disgusting. But if you do feel the urge, got it. Well, so you think you guys are ready? Of course. So they haven't done their four on four yet? So let's not diss John, okay? I think she's taking it well. I like how it's getting more pale. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Don't do this that, sweetheart. Kata. Don't do that. <laughs> no. <laughs> this is my kata. <laughs> Why would that be me? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. I don't give up like that. <laughs> I did not agree to this, Marquette. I just left. I'm so sorry. I didn't agree either. Shut up, that. guys. I'm being bullied. <laughs> Yeah, seriously, what, when you're adults, what kind of shit are you going to be dealing Just with? Just go on mission, sound like. <laughs> Ooble. <laughs> That's me. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. Oh, no. Come on, dude, it's just wrong. Oh, are you going to fight like that, bro? If you have to get stuff, you just go you run around with a little bit of noodles out, right. yeah, yeah. Maybe we'll help them win somehow. I mean, shit at the enemy. That's going to really throw them off. I'm not gonna want to fight you when you smell like. You have to shit at them. Dude, yeah, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you have to shit at them. Oh my god. <laughs> Girl, yo, it's your outfit and it helps for me. Mm-hmm. He talks so Gen Z. Who? It's the outfit. Wow. It's we're, the we're outfit. Old. <laughs> and that hair. <laughs> that cut. With the, with the bangs and the points. Yeah, the way it comes out out of the neck, you know? Yes. We have long list dreams. Nah, it's Cinder for me. Look at that. The best. <laughs> She's like a Honda. That's so oh, With her mummy shirt on. Mumra. Mumra. <laughs> I wonder who runs voices now. Team Bronze? Oh, shit. Team Bronze sounds like third place to me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Let's All right, go! Bye guys. Bye. <laughs> this is like Pokemon Stadium. There's it like is. There's in there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's what I'm that's saying. Cool. Well, that's nice. Yeah, it's yeah. cool. It's cool. Dragon Ball Z needed a fucking arena like this. They, they always borrow inspiration from places. They're this not like ripping it off. Fuck. It's like it's more of an homage. I, I agree because it's a fan made show with a bunch of yeah. different things included. That's a Pokemon Stadium shout out, right? For sure. Like, like the difference. Like, bro. Oh, yeah, that's it, isn't it? Bro, that was so sick. I, I didn't know. Nice. Guys. It's so short. That was a good one, Look though. Look at this, though. Wait, yeah, wait. this and, uh, outro is looking cool. They're flexing a little bit. They're showing, oh, they're showing some of their energy. <laughs> oh, God. Pool of blood. Let's go. <laughs> drummer's just running in place. Just, <laughs> just fucking <laughs> double <laughs> bass drum. Just like. Grrr. They just told the drummer, like, go absolute balls to the wall yeah. on that shit, bro. Break your set. Fuck yeah. Guitar too. Yeah, all, all of it. Oh man, this is oh oh shit. General Ironwood. That's a good shot. The Tin Man. That guy. They got rid of Torch. Whoa! Quick. What the hell is happening? This is like anime. Is that really gonna happen? Or did we just do it for the OP? It's always when the aliens come down, we all get, like, get together. We're you know? all bond together. Yeah. Oh, that's what Mama huh? looked like. Who the fuck? Those are white parents, right? Yeah. Was it white maybe. parents? Yeah. I don't want to know spoilers, man. It was, man. Uh, might have been Ruby's parents. They, they, they weren't all white. Dead. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, yeah, it's fine. Oh, I'm sorry, Ruby's. 
Ruby's but dad is alive. Great. She did. She did. Oh, she's faking her death. Which could be potentially true. Mm. Yeah, she could be faking. I don't know. There looks... was a lot of like opposites, like in in this. I don't. Was mm. this the intro or the outro? This is outro. the outro. It was like it was like the the frame was always like kind of cut in half, and it was mm-hmm. always like something happening on the left and something else happening on the right. Symmetrical left. scenes. Yeah. And it also said mirrors will be shattered. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> they, this, mm. this, as we can see, it says when it falls. They all look kind of bummed out. So I'm assuming that maybe this season is the season they're going to be hit with their hardest obstacle yet, mm-hmm. or hard, hard, or most difficult adversary. I guess is maybe the mm. appropriate term. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, very like smart narratively. Like sorry, go on. No, it's well, no, it's good. Like jumping straight into the festival, like in the middle of the match, and then uh, I really like the cold open when she was at the grave. It was very atmospheric. I like it. And like anything we've seen in the show so far. It was a good way to like, I felt like I was watching something yeah. else for mm-hmm. a while. It was a good tribute to Monty in a way to begin a new season, if anything. Yeah, because she was almost like talking to him. Yeah. Yeah, know, it was whatever. beautiful, dude. I mean, I'm sad. Still. Yeah, I'm still sad. sad from like what we watched before this, but yeah, it was totally beautiful. I didn't know, like, I, do you guys think her mom's really dead? Yeah. I think her mom is, is a gray, gray fox. Yeah, the, the the one from finale, right? Wait, wait Cyber Ninja. What, what? Yeah, because oh woman showed up and made a portal with her sword and hopped in. And I think that's her. Yes. Yeah. yeah, I think that that's her mom. Because I don't know if they would have emphasized the mother aspect following. Because this came immediately after we saw her. The, the mom, yes, yeah, so Supp- supposedly pop. Right, you get introduced to her maybe mom at the end of season two, mm-hmm. and now she's talking to a gravestone which we have never seen mm-hmm. before. At the beginning of season three, what a spot! So I think it's. Too. I mean, those two things can't be coincidence. Yeah, to have a character thing. appear who looks much older, maybe taller, and then have her talk to a gravestone. Also, aesthetically, that character was dressed all in red. You know, yeah. she she used dust as a katana. It looked like she would like insert it. Yeah, it would change change it and yeah. then bring it out. That. What she did was the coolest power I've seen to be able yes. to make a portal that you can step into and step out of. That yeah. was that was pretty cool. No, I want that. I want that hoverboard. Yeah, oh, that has yeah. guns yeah. and Some dust cool usage. Character designs, man. Yeah, like, so cool. like Team Bronze. I'm excited to see them and the, who, whatever that team was they were fighting. It's like they spent some time on these characters. Bronze you know? and Juniper. I'm sorry. Who, who, yeah. who originally said, it said like it was third place? Who? Who originally said that? I didn't say. It was I don't remember. Who, who I don't, I don't remember. Said what? Marquette, did you? It's still like third place. I think it was Marquette who said it was her mom originally. But I think you called it. I think we're also talking about. Her being from a different dimension. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. Because sure. of the portal. Yeah. I think somehow... It yeah, could be, like, actually. Yeah. It's entirely possible. You know, we, in terms of where did she get all of the... Because she has a scabbard or sheaths worth of dust. It's more like a in a, in a gun. It's more like a revolver. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because she, you know, it's circular. It rotates through the chamber. Mm-hmm. She chooses which yeah. way she wants to It looked use. like a Tommy gun and she stuck a sword into it to like interchange it, yeah, it around. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Exactly. What was up with the dad, though? He looks like a statue. <laughs> but we, we weren't introduced to him properly. We just At saw all. him in the distance. He yeah. looked like the teacher that, that took them out, by the way. But I, like, he kind of he kind of favored uh, the, the, the silver hair guy. I'm bad yeah. Ozzy Pen? Yeah. Oz Pen? Yeah. Because there was Vi. Vi and, Vi and oh. him were right Ozzie in the background. Man. But I mean, I, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. I, I like to think that I, you know, as much shit as I might get in the comments, I like to pay attention, but we've not been introduced to her father. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. no. Okay. Dad looked like a cutout of rock in there. <laughs> <laughs> All we all we know about him is that he's still alive he and, he, like and he, he apparently he teaches at, look at, the, dog. at the place. He's yeah. not moving. And he wears Crocs and cargo shorts. He's yeah. not moving. He looks he's wearing like glasses. He's got glasses. I'm just kidding. He's like a Super Smash Bros. trophy. Like you yes. yes. Oh my God. Yes. I don't know. I, we're not making fun of him, guys. No. We, no. We appreciate all the work. It's no. just we like do. I wonder if he's if he's even there though. Like if she just. Yeah. Because compared to the dog, the dog's moving. But she yeah. said well, he's there working. because she said he has, he's about to go start going on missions. So he's there with yeah. her right now. They just spent so much on making this yeah, scene look yeah, good. Yeah. Dad couldn't say or move at all. So apparently, yeah. her father, the, her her link to Beacon is that her father is employed by Beacon. But it seems like he's not there in a professor's capacity. Or signal, excuse me. Signal. He's not there in a a professor capacity, but maybe he's there in like a consulting capacity or contracted. Yeah, well, the signal, they're at Beacon right now. Signal is where she graduated from. Or whatever, it's like right. high school, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or middle school or high school, or yeah. high school or college, yeah, whichever it is. Sure. And I and I and I thought what she was insinuating was that he hadn't been back to work since she passed, and he missed going on missions with her. Now he's getting ready to eventually start to go back. Maybe he's starting mm-hmm. to. Move I thought that it was he'd been on missions this whole time, and now he just came back, but then he has another mission pending. I thought she said that he went, and he was teaching, and like oh. now he's going to start going going back to. Okay. He still teaches as a, a signal. 
Yeah. And now he's going to start going back to doing missions. And oh. I sound like he hadn't oh. been doing them since oh. she died. Interesting. Yeah. Well, hopefully we get more development around him. Because yeah. literally one shot in a background shot leaves a lot to question. And maybe seeing him, we can find out if the chick that came through the portal might might have been the person that he talked to. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I want, yeah, I think that he's the link to figuring out who her mother is. That'd be dope. I Ooh. have a feeling that Cinder Ruby. and uh, who are those other? I always forget their names. Emerald. Sorry. Yeah, Emerald. Team Emerald. Yeah, you remember the fine chick's name though. Yeah. <laughs> Cinder, so I have Emerald, a feeling and I forgot the guy. Ooh. They're gonna like she's slowly become friends with the main crew because they're like, oh, we're ordered to become it's friends. It's infiltration, with bro. And she's all like, ugh, how can they be so happy? But I don't know. Something tells me character arc. Maybe she'll she'll kind of come around yeah. and start yeah, feeling for them or like you know being empathetic. Send her pop a freaking kernel of pop. She popped pop yeah. in her hand, bro. That was really nice. <laughs> yeah, that, 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 nice. that was cute. That was cute. That was a nice cute. little touch. Nice party trick. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> so, <laughs> Daddy Schnee calls Weiss. She doesn't answer, and then her card is declined. <laughs> yeah, I missed the mystery. That was oh, so funny. Funny. What do you guys think of that? Is, that? is that all it takes to get cut off? Is not yeah, answering? I'm a father. It's very realistic. <laughs> you don't answer the phone, ass something child. will happen. Something will happen. I've cut, I've cut a sale Just from one missed call, do you call your kids like, he's this mother. <laughs> I'm canceling yeah. all of their shit. Just, their just cut the phone off for 30 minutes and watch what happens. Like, that's what I do. It's not, it's not just pull it up, boop. You can't, you can't ground her or take her internet, so. No, just cut the phone off cut for 30 minutes. Cards. It, took, it took me being an idiot for like two years in college for my dad to cut me off. So one <laughs> phone call... One phone call to cut somebody off seems it's a, pretty bit, a bit abrupt. Yeah, maybe exactly. maybe he was calling her to tell her, hey, the business is in shambles. Also, that maybe, maybe he has been calling her for a while. Yeah. And this was like yeah. the last straw. <laughs> um, so let's talk about the Vital Festival, I guess. Would you guys? I think it's fucking amazing and so cool that the settings change. Like, yeah. Because like, it, cool. it takes them like out of their like element, basically. So like, you can throw into anything, can you still fight in this and prevail? Mm-hmm. And I love that the stadium is elevated. It's kind of, yeah, they, they did the, the whole sky. Japanese like... And, and they did the, um, the, in my mind, it's like a nod to either Final Fantasy or Mario, where they have the airships that look or, like Or ships. One Piece, who or these guys piece. seem to watch. Skypea had an island where the clouds were holding it. It looked like it was clouds holding Hunter, that thing up at the bottom. I, I meant the ships. They were actually ships <laughs> with like wings. Oh, right, yeah. Them. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's been in Final Fantasy. Yeah. That's been in Mario. You know? gotcha. well, maybe yeah, not in Mario. They don't have wings nice. in Mario. They still fly around. Kind of. I've seen Bowser's little, yeah, yeah, his little right? big boy yeah. kids uh, yeah, flying around with flappy. Uh, either way, airships are like a um, like Skies of Arcadia is a game that was on the Sega Dreamcast. It was based completely around being sky pirates in pirate ships. Mm-hmm. So it's like it's very much in the Japanese. Um, what was the name of the game? Uh, Skies of Arcadia, and okay. I think they remastered it for GameCube. I don't know if they remastered it for anything else. But the point is, is like Japanese culture is very much um, in terms of like the scientific, you know, sci-fi culture. They love their airships, like literally ships Mm -hmm. like that you would see in the sea that fly in the sky. You'll find that, again, Final Fantasy, Mario, like everything. Skies of Arcadia, it's a big thing in Japanese pop culture to have an airship, basically. Mm. Yeah. I just, I like the Vital Festival too, because like they, it's kind of turned into anime, like I said, it reminded me of a shonen or a shoujo or whatever, because when they were explaining the The rules. tournament style. Like, like they they, they have like a simplistic animation for explaining the rules, but animes do that all the time. Oh, yeah. Especially when they're just explaining rules of something. Yeah. It just, Especially Hunter uh, Hunter, like you just brought up. They yeah. love those. Stop. Pay it's attention to what we teach you, what you're going to see. <laughs> it's got an epic yeah. feel to it. I don't know. It was it's a good way cool. to display their you know, powers and as well. You saw, I think it was Weiss who did the ice fist, I believe. Mm-hmm. Was it her? Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. The fist and it balled and it rolled yeah. up. And I, I think the implication is that they can use, It's it, again, it's kind of like Pokemon Stadium where you can, if, if you have the variable arenas on you can use like so for example in pokemon stadium if you have like a fire arena you can use charizard and like he would be buffed by the fact that he's a fire type pokemon yeah. there's a fire mm. arena and we saw that they were sliding along the ice like doing cool shit on the ice so basically yeah. it's like it's up to them how they utilize the terrain because we've They're never seen up, weiss yeah. use that move before but it right. was ra- like when it just flipped in this last match it was right. random right but that's what i'm saying yeah. it's like so, so basically the map is there it's there for them to use so they yeah. say like half of this is ice half of this is fire or whatever yes, it was yes, before yeah. that and so apparently the kids or the students can use that to their advantage lucky for fun. ruby they have a very versatile team oh yeah, like yeah if they're the smart elements. right because yeah. otherwise it can be used against you but if you're clever yeah. about it then and you can use it to your advantage they do the, the squad is actually pretty strong if you think about it we yeah. have a, oh, we have a close fighting person someone who uses dust mostly a fontis 
Mm. And we have Ruby, who seems to be a mixture between a, a few different things. Ruby's the, our Mario. She is. She's the most I balanced like that. Character. She's the most balanced. She's Let's very balanced. Let's not forget John, man. Everybody's giving John fucking... Is he part of the clique, though? Because he, he's he... part of the other clique and they gave him shit. You know, they're like, there's John. <laughs> he's there. He's more than just there. Okay. Mm-hmm. I like that. That's fair. The character um, design is... Well, sorry. Go Marquetta, on. please say something. Marquetta, Serge. But, um, <laughs> I was going to say that I didn't um, see any, like, military around. I did. were outside... Um, think, like when they were eating, uh, was there like a? There, there didn't seem to be like a lot of control. Um, there's only like two area. robots like walking. Yeah, but like you know, after after the attack of the be- the mobbies, like I expected, they were they were talking with the with the Ironwood guy, mm-hmm. how like they're going to like really mm-hmm. up the surveillance and up the the security. And because they knew someone the was inside of the school so, that was part yeah, of it, right? Yeah. yeah. So I was ho- I, I was expecting that the festival would be. I mean, obviously it would be like fun and all, but that we would see like some things here and there. But, like I was specifically looking for it, and I saw that the ships. But was that security really, on the outside? I didn't really of that? see any inside the. Yeah. Oh, okay. there, maybe there, there maybe were they're few, there. Like... They were state. It was kind of like if it was like a stadium where yeah. you have the people that would like be like ticket takers. They would show you to your seats if you've yeah. ever been to like a football stadium yeah. or something like that. They had they had the uh, what I call the uh, I'm back to the, the, the Tony Stark uh, the Legion. They're robots. <laughs> yeah. They're, you know, they have guns. Yeah, they were yeah. stationed around. But I think, to your point, Ironwood, maybe he took this. Maybe this was something that would have been typically done on the ground. But it's in the sky. I was literally about to say that. Like, like the yeah. fact, I thought them being in the sky oh, was kind of pretty good yeah. security, too. Yeah. Like, so maybe, let's just fly it up in the air somewhere. Yeah. Like, so, so maybe it's, it's the whole idea. But I get what you're saying, though. They still should protect them kids. Those are kids. That's the future, man. Protect those kids. I Grim, Grim can't get to the sky. like, in your face, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Because everybody was kind of like, oh my god, this is serious. We have to like put soldier to every person. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That type of thing. To, to, I take today, that back. There are some flying grim. I was gonna say we've yeah. seen we've seen some flying, but the majority yeah, of the first. ones that we've seen are like they're like wolves Grum, or Grum. bears or yeah. elephants or something like that. So I think that yeah, of course there's gonna be a flying type, but I think that in the interest of security, maybe they maybe Ironwood said let's have this tournament above ground, like, right. like really fucking far above right. ground. I get, what, I get what Marquetta is saying, though, because in reality, if if you believe that the perpetrator is someone who's inside of the school, you probably should make sure, like, they're on guard mm-hmm. all the time. And like you just said, it. well, let's just have one security guard for every kid. How about, <laughs> how about that? When you want, your job is to watch one kid for all of you guys. Just watch one kid. Hey, uh, right. Right. I, I don't believe that's what should be done. No, nah, sure. I think nah, that's sure. what they insinuated would yeah. happen. Because that's in like a police episode? state. At that they point. went up to Cold Red, it sounded like, after yeah, that happened. Yeah, and they yeah, found yeah. out that the person just... Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, hopefully there's enough security. Well, uh, we're going to wrap this, this up real quick. Damn it, who did that character design remind you of, you were going to say? Which one? The guy with the brown. He had the stick. And he was... Oh, oh, right. So so in um, Chinese mythology, there's a story called Journey to the West. Yes. Uh, yeah. Goku is based off that Yes, character. correct. The, all monkey, Dragon Ball the, Z the Monkey King. King. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The monkey, hey, yeah. All of Dragon Ball Z is based off of this story. All of them. Naruto, Luffy, all of this stuff. It's it's an it's an age old Chinese story where the Monkey King, who is literally like a, a, a anthropomorphic monkey, per, yeah. uh, personalized, you know, he looks like a person, but he has all the monkey traits. Yes. He rides a flying cloud. Yes, and he has yeah, a, he has a bow staff just like this guy, like, okay. and he wears yeah, the I'm beads, sorry. the, the, yeah, the Buddhist yeah, beads, just like he did with the sash and everything. Yeah. And his whole in in the, that story, his whole mission is to take Buddha um, from I think it's India, ma- India, to... well, no, no, to India. Yeah, he's trying yeah. to get him to India, oh, yeah. so from China to India, or something like that. Basically, he's yeah, trying to get yeah. him to India. Mm. And so the point is that that character is clearly modeled after the, the Monkey, Monkey King. See, I because thought the Monkey Sun, King is just like... I thought right. the same thing for Sun, because he had the, the tail, tail and like... I, I think he's more of like... Uh, I think he's more a nod to um, like the character that I've been calling Final Fantasy IX. Uh, Zidane. Zidane okay. is a... He's a blonde character... Who's the protagonist of Final Fantasy IX? He has a tail, but that's the only animal trait that he has. Mm. Aside from that, he's just you know, and and he's a badass. I, he uses gotcha. two. Oh. He uses two weapons that are like kind of like sides that he can combine into a staff. Mm. So I don't know if that character can do. And that. real quick oh. fact: Shonen uses the Monkey King to model all of their biggest, their biggest big guys after. Mm-hmm. Like the only difference, like Goku's the one person they all have the common trait. The Monkey King. That's has why they his, all turn into monkeys. Dude. They do. That's why they all have tails. They do. Yeah. And, and the Monkey King <laughs> had this crown that he <laughs> latched on. Yeah. Goku's it's the only person. Monkeys, man. Straw Hat Luffy has his hat. Naruto has the leaf band. Everybody has that thing that sticks to this. Goku's the only one who's Dude, the one exception. It's, it's the most famous yeah. story in Eastern it is, culture. It is. Yeah. It is. That's why Sony, like, they, they stick to it. They yeah. never go that far away from it. Exactly. Like, exactly. All right. Well, we will see. What, we're going to wrap this up because we got a few more episodes to watch. And we'll see you next time. Thank Pass. you. Bye. Bye.
Thank you all so much for watching this week's episode of Ruby. We'd like to give a special shout out to our super patrons, Saqif, Clayton, Davis, Harry Mag, Van Explorer, and Dylan, Aaron, Mr. Momus, and Joe Mags. Thanks again and have an awesome weekend.